so we were discussing what is law of conservation of mass or law of conservation of matter according to law of conservation of matter matter can neither be created nor it can be destroyed but it can be changed from one form into the other form this one is the law of conservation of mass matter cannot be created so we are not the creator neither it can be destroyed as we are not the creator so how can we destroy the things what can we do what can we do is the next part of the statement and that is we can change the forms we can change the forms of the things like we can change water into ice ice back into water we can also change the wood into ashes to burn it in order to burn it or in order to have some energy we can change the forms of the matter we cannot create we cannot destroy so it means there is someone else who is the creator and as he is the creator he has created the thing so he has the right to destroy that so he creates he destroys what we can do we can only change the forms when we balance the equations and we keep it in our consideration that the mass of reactants must be equal to mass of the product when we balance the equations actually we fulfill the or obey the law of conservation of mass or law of conservation of matter every reaction in chemistry follows the law of conservation of mass except nuclear reactions nuclear reactions do not follow the law of conservation of mass why they do not follow that will be discussed inshallah somewhere else now the second law is law of definite proportion sometimes it is also called as the law of constant proportions according to law of definite proportion when two elements combine to form a compound when two elements combine to form a compound they combine they always combine in a fixed ratio by mass when two elements combine to form a compound they combine in a fixed ratio by mass just like water is two the ratio by mass between hydrogen and oxygen is 2 by 16 and if it is simplified it will become 1 by 8 water can be collected from many different sources like we can take water from sea we can take water from rivers from canals from ponds from tears and uh, from taps we can collect water from different sources but if it is water it will always remain h2o whether it is a mixer or it is pure water it is a separate discussion but in case when it is water it will always remain h2o and the ratio between hydrogen and oxygen by mass will remain one ratio 8 so now we sum up the second lecture what is chemistry it is the study of matter what kind of study of matter and what features of matter are discussed structure and composition what is the proportion of the particles how the particles are arranged properties both physical and chemical changes again both changes physical and chemical changes and what are those laws that govern all these changes physical and chemical changes so when we combine all these points we get the definition of chemistry that was all about the definition of chemistry that was the remaining part of the lecture number 2 and inshallah in the next lecture we will discuss what is matter because chemistry is the study of matter so we must know what is matter that will be our discussion in the next lecture take care allah hafiz